The script is where your story is assembled out of snippets. Each snippet is simply the text that will appear in the script. And the title is generated from the beats that are inserted into the snippet. To see how the final text flows, select Final Script in the toolbar. This isn't an exact print preview, but it lets you read the text without being aware of the structure. You can also select Synopsis View to only view the events by name. And we'll go back to normal snippets. Causality trims the margins to make room for the timeline and whiteboard. The default setting Mini Margins shaves off the empty space, but lines break correctly. You can see the full margins using normal margins. More useful is that you can select Squeezed or Super Squeezed, which compresses the on screen layout to make more room for the whiteboard and timeline. But it'll still print the same. You take the script full screen using the tilde or escape key. And the full screen view has its own view mode and margins. So you can have a compressed view that shows snippets while you're working here. But then in full screen, you can show the final script with full margins and read it like a normal document. Both the full screen script and whiteboard also have a mini timeline that you can use for navigating. It has two counters. The first counter should usually stay on events. But you can change the secondary counter to pages or time. When you create a new document, you select whether it will be a screenplay, a book, or a novel. The difference is that a screenplay has a lot of automation for the screenplay formatting, and it also has scene headings. Books and novels have different fonts and margins. Fonts are chosen automatically by causality, and this is a little bit unusual. In order for us to format identically on every device, we have to provide all the fonts. All you select is whether it's a typewriter, serif, or sans serif font. This is all described in the tutorial on multi language scripts. You can still control paragraph styles in the script menu, but you'll notice that all the fonts are set to auto, and it's strongly suggested to leave it like that. But you're free to change every other aspect of the styles. Notice especially that you can configure hotkeys for paragraph styles. You can then easily switch styles while editing text using these keyboard combinations. Another thing that's unusual in causality is how we handle scene headings in screenplays. You're used to scene headings just being part of the text. But in causality, there are separate objects that you create with right click and insert scene heading. The reason for this is that the whiteboard wouldn't be possible without it. Remember that a scene can contain multiple beats. If we just moved beats without caring about scene headings, a beat happening in a car would soon be happening in a spaceship. For this reason, scene headings and causality are automatic. Every snippet is secretly stamped with what location it wants to happen in. For all of these, it's interior hospital day. If we now focus on the beat where Mike grieves that he shouldn't have evaded the old lady, which right now happens in the hospital, let's drag this beat into the middle of a street sequence. I'll scroll up a bit and then let's look at what happened. You can see that before that, everything is happening on a street. Then Causality inserts a scene heading to make sure our beat still happens in a hospital. 
and then it inserts another scene heading to cut back to the street. This way, causality will never suddenly make a beat happen in a new location. Locations always stick to the snippet. But if you actually do want this to happen on a street, simply delete the hospital scene heading. That also deletes the cut back to the street, because now we're already there. This is not something you have to think about. Just create the scene headings you want, and everything works itself out. Finally, as the script matures, snippets increasingly start to be written to flow nicely into each other. But since the whiteboard allows snippets to be moved around without thinking about this, good transitions can be broken. For this reason, Causality has a feature called Track Sequence Changes. This tracks which snippets find themselves with new neighbors, so you remember to rewrite their transitions. If I now grab one of the hospital beats and move it further down, the two red lines indicate that the snippet has new neighbors. I'll then make some small changes to make the transitions work better. And then I approve each of the transitions. If we scroll back to where I moved the snippet from, these two snippets are also now new neighbors. I'll rewrite them to flow better and approve the transition. If you have a lot of transitions that you're all fine with, you can approve all of them in bulk from the menu. 